North Carolina in the midst of yet another expensive and sometimes chaotic power struggle. Yet the legal battle over the new electoral districts led the Supreme Court this week to push back next year's primary, calling uh, some are calling for major changes in how all of this happens. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh for us tonight to show us how. Michael. Well, they don't think politicians should be drawing these districts and trying to keep themselves in power. Some states have independent groups that do this instead, but even then, that doesn't always work out. Just as candidates began to file to run for office, the Supreme Court stepped in and stopped them. A series of lawsuits target the new districts Republicans drew for the General Assembly and Congress, calling them unconstitutionally gerrymandered. The system is broken. Democratic State Rep. Marsha Morey has pushed for an amendment to the state constitution, taking the power to draw the districts away from politicians and setting up an independent commission to do it instead. We need to hear the voices of people who are not of political parties. Ten states have commissions that draw congressional districts, while a few more have groups that advise lawmakers on what to do. But there's no guarantee of success. Virginia just tried this, but their commission deadlocked and gave up. I know in some states it, it breaks down because of partisan politics. I think there's a way to fix that. Bob Phillips leads Common Cause NC, one of the groups that recently sued Republicans. California and Michigan, in our minds, has some of the better models, and that is where they're truly evenly divided, Republican, Democratic, and Independent citizens who are coming together for one purpose. Republican Senator Ralph Heiss says he still thinks lawsuits would be inevitable. The challenges that you're seeing in court today are about what they believe or how many Democrats get elected in the map and if it doesn't elect enough Democrats they're going to file another case. Because the pendulum swings back and forth one day the Democratic Party may be back in charge and to the Republicans right now in power do they want to have done to them what they are doing you know to the other side. For now, the Supreme Court has ordered the case over the current maps to move quickly. A three-judge panel here in Raleigh has to issue a decision on that by January 11th. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. A lot to keep.